Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today I'm coming back at you with a really quick tutorial on how to fade in and out of GarageBand, something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. Now this can be at the end, the middle, or towards the start of a clip. Uh, pretty much at any point this is how you fade in and out. So here for example I've got an entire song, here it is, but I want to fade out essentially uh, at the end and fade into the song. So what I need to do at the very top, and hopefully you can see this, there's a window that says uh, Record, mix, share, view, window, help. Now what you want to do is essentially go up to the, se the section at the top where it says mix. Uh, on the mix section, you then want to select show automation. So tap mix, tap show automation, and then all of a sudden we have this. Now here is where we can change the volume on certain sections, aka fade in and out. So you'll see this faint, faint, faint uh, orange line. Click it once, it highlights it and click it again, you can see it adds another dot. If I click it again over here, it adds another dot. Now if you imagine this line to be your volume, what you can subsequently do is create two dots like I've just done here. There's already one at the very start of the clip which you may be able to see. And thus I can then, once I've created these two dots additional due to the dot being already at the start, I can lower down the very first dot, which means that the volume is gonna essentially start, you know, there's nothing playing here so it's gonna be quiet. And as you can see on the left, as it moves along the cursor, as the time goes on in the in the project, the volume gets lower all the way down to zero. And then along here, it's slowly going to build back up. So in essence, from this point onwards, my the dot second dot here to the third dot, I've got a gradual fade in. So if we have a listen, you get a slight fade in. What I can do then, if I don't like that or I want more of a fade, create another dot along here. Then I can drag this dot down here and I've got a really slow fade. And literally this is how you fade in and out in GarageBand. You can also do it in the middle or at other places as well. So a really handy tool to have at your disposal. Just make sure you always create enough dots as required. But I hope this helps you out. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And remember as always, it was the mix at the top and then show automation.